First, take a small amount of hair from your weftless bundle. You want to make sure to not grab so much and you want to hold it from the root end. Now, here what I'm doing is just getting rid of any short hairs that I see before I fold the hair in half, creating a small loop, like so. Once your loop is created, you want to spread the hairs out so it'll be easy for you to grab it with your hook. And any short hairs that you see, just remove them. And there you have it. There's your loop. Now, holding the needle is very simple. You hold the needle as if you're holding a pencil in the hand that you write with. And then in the opposite hand, you want to hold your looped hair. And now we're ready to ventilate. Now, while holding your needle and your looped hair at the same time, you want to take your needle and go through the desired hole that you're trying to go through. And you hook the hair, sliding it back through that hole, wrapping the hair around that needle hook and pulling it straight through, which will create a single knot. You want to make sure you pull it after you pull the hair through that hole just to tighten it. You never want to do it with your needle because you can easily snap the hair and that is so frustrating. Now in slow-mo, I went through the hole. I'm hooking the hair onto my needle and I'm bringing that hair back through the hole. And then once through the hole, I'm gonna rotate my hook needle around that hair. I'm gonna pull that hair straight through that loop. And just like before, I'm using my hand, my fingers, to tighten that knot, never with my needle. Creating a double knot is pretty similar to how you create a single knot. It's just an extra step before actually tightening the knot. From this point, I just pull the knot through the loop and go back around, rotating that needle around the hair, and then I tighten it, which will create two knots it will be a knot on top of a knot. Doing the same motions as creating a single knot. And like I said, from this point, you wanna take your needle and go back around that hair and bring it again through that loop and then tighten it with your hands and there you have it your double knot you want to make sure that you're only going through one hole as you can see I went through two holes but then I caught myself and I went through the one hole that I wanted to go through 